And if you are able to trap such kind of money in your locality or in your country and so forth and so on, you get a share of it. It means you are on your way up creating jobs for your people. Because tourism brings about jobs in many areas. Local transportation, because tourists, when they have arrived, they want to move around. There's food, which means agriculture is going to thrive through tourism, because people want to eat. There's hospitality, uh, you know, industry, hotels and so forth. I was in China at one time, I was talking to my colleague Minister of Tourism there and I said, look, you've got 122 million outward tourists every year. Favor me with only 1 million. Okay, then he says, 1 million, why can't I give you 10 million? The thing is, if he gave me 10 million and I came to Zambia, where are they going to sleep? I don't have such infrastructure. Africa for now a couple decades has had the, um, the objective of creating a single market for air transport in Africa. Uh, it has not been moving as fast as it would like. Only about uh, half of the countries, uh, some 27, um, have uh, joined their single market. We still have the other half that we need to encourage so they can really join, so that we can really have one seamless uh, uh, shall I say, skies. So I think first of all, we as locals in our countries of domicile, we should be the first tourists, so that whoever comes to your country, you should be able to, say, to tell them what you know about what you know. Yeah. When that realization has come, then we are going to achieve uh, what we intend through the tourism sector, wealth creation, and job creation.